Hey, this is Mike Mangini, fresh off of, I guess, the first five months of 2013, in the studio with Dream Theater and on the road with some drum clinics. So I wanted to explain a few things about my drum head choices for the album. Firstly, way up high on the cannon toms, or octobons, whatever you want to call them, I have clear amperers. On the record, we used clear amperers on the 6 and 8 inch toms, as opposed to what I had normally been using and used here at home. But they made a nice, um, like a nice transition with the high register of the kit, so that when I went to the high toms, it almost sounded like those cannon toms bled into the uh, tom toms. And the transition from the 8 inch drum with the clear emperor to the 10 inch drum with the clear control sound, or black dot if you want to call it, um, I, I don't know, it was smooth. Anyway, just like here, I did use black dots everywhere on the toms, gong drum as well, and I have always, uh, I've been using clear P3s for a long time on the kick drums, and we stuck with those, and I've been using the control sound on the snare drums for a long time as well, and we stuck with those. What I did that was different is I used ebony's on the bottom of the toms. Why? to try something a little different and to go off of a thought that I had where um, well if I'm using those on the outside of the kick drums you know like the black front heads why not try them on the toms who knows but we put them on and they sounded fantastic so we went with them and that is the head selection that I used on the new Dream Theater record and when I do drum clinics I stick with usually the clear P3s and the control sounds and the snare and go with you the black dots or clear emperors on the toms. Keep it pretty simple. So there you go. Over and out.